I'm glad to see you're back. If you're back, that means I was helpful and uh, this was worth it. So this segment is hygiene. And put on my glasses. I'm going to start with the outside of the body. Uh, and then when we go into bed care, we're going to go the actual body, okay? Biggest thing is avoiding buttons. Time consuming. Um, I generally get pullovers. For my husband, I guess for a, a female, you could get a pullover top and those jogging shorts, or not shorts, I'm sorry, jogging pants. Um, if you must have buttons, make sure they're large buttons. Uh, they have uh, Velcro, some of the health sections of Walgreens, Walmart, online, Amazon, have these health section where you can buy clothes that caters to people who can't ambulate or are difficult to dress. Now, if you're going to buy the clothing, what you do is you picture that clothing, putting it on that person, actually putting it on that person, and that will stop you from buying the wrong product. You want to ask yourself questions like, does it require hanging? Does it require ironing? Can I just fold up and put away? I want to show you uh, where I put my husband's clothes at, and I'll give you the logic for it. First of all, it's aluminum co coated. Uh, that eliminates bacteria, it's, it's bacteria, fungus, uh, germs in general. They don't like silver. That's why most of your bathrooms have that silver stuff. Other people put the gold, but the silver is actually better. It's more sanitary. Um, so what I do is I rotate. I rotate the clothes, pillowcases, sheets, blankets. And the reason I rotate the clothes is because it stops that pee pee smell if they're uh -huh. repeatedly wearing the same thing over and over again. So what he wore yesterday is down on this shelf. And what he's going to wear today is up on this shelf. So those cabinets, I guess you call them, you know, in your bedroom, your living room, they got the drawers and you put them in the drawers. Those are terrible. You got somebody sick at home, this is a better method because it decreases your, uh, uh, your workload. It decreases your workload. It's better for the patient. Uh, it gives you a visual every time of what's going on with his or her items. And then just, sometimes I just Febreze the clothes a little bit and let them air dry. It's just a product. You can get whatever product you want. Um, so moving along from the clothes. So I'm going to start at the head and work my way down. If you can't and you got a totally 100% bed bound patient, which is what I have, some days you can't shampoo them or bathe them. They have a waterless foam shampoo. This is one that I'm using. Once again, it doesn't have to be this name brand. I got it at Walgreens. Um, these cloths are fantastic. They're, they're, they're like the chamois cloths. Um, they hold a lot of water. They um, wash. I mean, this this puppy's at least three to four years old. Much better than washcloths. They hold up well, and they're easy on the skin. So you're when you put the soap on them and you go to rinse, etc. Okay, so we're doing outside right now, though, anyway. But yeah, these are great. You, this is the best investment I made. Um, so now, mouth care. With the mouth care, I get these little solo cups. Now, they've got plastic cups. Amazon has 700 of them. Let's see, disposable cups, three ounces, 20 bucks. 
I like these better. And the reason I like these better is I uh, can give him his pills in this and I can do his oral care with the same cups. And they throw away. And plus it's not plastic. So um, give him a little bit to drink, not to swallow, swish, swish, swish. And there it is. And I use it for the pills as well. Um, toothbrush, well, I got an electric that you buy at the Dollar General or what have you. Keeps me from keeping an eye, it keeps me to keep an eye on his teeth in case there's something going on that I need to know about and take him to the dentist. Um, so now his ear is ears. <laughs> his ears, they grow hair. They had to bottle all the hair that grows where it shouldn't. So I got this. It's just a little cute, but it works and it doesn't hurt. You don't hurt him or her, your loved one. These little tools make it easier for you. Um, the next thing, working our way down a little bit. Oh, now I gotta go up. This is a baby syringe. And this is if they got little mucus or, or little stuff that you need to get rid of without harming them. Use a little baby syringe. This is the body wash I use. I got this at Dollar General. Nice product, man. Nice product. Soaps up well, rinses well. And that's our goal, to make life easier for us. The hair. See, I'm working my way up again. <laughs> okay, you gotta get haircuts, or if it's a female, you give them, you know, trims. So you get the kit that has the numbers on it that tell you left and right. You follow those instructions: left clip, right clip, up clip, line clip, clip. You got a beautiful haircut. It's not gonna be as fantastic as a barber can do but it's a nice haircut. Keep one of these around. This, oh, I'm sorry, this happens to be Walls. W-A-H-L, Walls. And it's electrical. I think they make battery operated ones now, but I'm not sure. Um, keep one of these around. These come in handy for hair cutting, for shampooing, uh, so he or she doesn't get wet. I've had the same one for, geez, 10 years. You make that one-time investment and it makes your life easier. Disinfecting, um, disinfecting a room. Well, you know already. Disinfecting wipes, disinfecting spray. I'm not advocating any of these products, but um, what you're doing is you're trying to keep the Room as clean as possible because when you're sick, you're under you, you're so easily attacked. Um, little kids, grown ups, they touch, they come in, kiss grandpa, and next thing you know, grandpa's sick. Um, so try to maintain the, the cleanliness of the room. I promise you, it'll stop those emergency room visits. It'll stop all those uh, health extra annoyances. So then, little manscaping. Manscaping, girlscaping. The reason for that is, is you're trying to avoid holding that, not shaving, don't shave. Shave opens up for infections. Just trimming, you're trimming. It stops, them, stops the hairs from holding the feces, from holding the urine smell. It's so much better when you do your, your scaping on that person. Um, I have been blessed. My husband hasn't had a bed sore. What do you know? And I use this particular product on his body. Bed sore is when the tissue breaks down. His tissue's very intact and very nice. Um, I use this on his bottom. 
A and D, it doesn't matter who the product is. It's just the barrier of the oil, the, the, the Vaseline that they make it with. And um, A and D, because it's good for the tissue. Excellent for the tissue. Then, another thing that makes my world easier, oh, every time, I put this on them every, every time I go to change them because, once again, if the tissue breaks down, it's a whole nother workload. I myself have not experienced it, but I have been exposed to it. Uh, nail care, yeah, I forgot nail care. Nail care, you know, your sleep, we, we do it ourselves. We scratch sometimes where we wouldn't normally do it for wide awake. They tend to do it as well. So you, you, you gotta give the, uh, the nails and your hands uh, soapy water and hand care because sometimes there's feces under those fingernails. You think their hands are dirty, it's not. Species, PP, and you don't want that. So, once again, you get your little washcloth every morning, you give them the washcloth, wash your hands, and even if they only have but do their hands, you're getting them to move. You could do the rest, but you always make them do whatever they can do. And don't let them con you because they'll try to con you so that they, they get spoiled a little bit. Don't. Make them do whatever they can do. Nail care, foot care. Straight across. Don't get the edges, just a straight cut, unless they're diabetic, in which case you gotta get the foot back to do it. Now, bed. Half of the odors is where it sinks into that bed. I get chucks. I get two that I put on the bed, and we'll show you when it's time for the bed making, but um, these chucks are lifesavers because the odor goes on them, the pee-pee goes on them, the poo-poo goes on them, and I don't have to keep washing that sheet. And I'll show you the proper way to use these chucks. You, you would think there's not a proper way. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Later on, we'll go to the bed. All right, if this gets expensive, Dollar General, um, then you could buy these. And I got this at Amazon. Turn it over. It's not, they'll say it's waterproof. It's actually a water barrier. So this is only gonna go for one or two or three times maybe, and then it starts to get wet. Um, so I prefer these. And I prefer these because I don't have to wash. These are good though, this is a good product, but. All else fails. Take a plastic bag. No, but this is gonna increase your workload. Take a plastic bag, cut it. and you're gonna line the bed with it. Now make sure it's under the sheet and not on top of the sheet because they're sick and they're shaking and they're moving and you don't want them to accidentally hurt themselves with a plastic bag. It clearly states, you know, avoid suffocation on it. I now have a chuck. Right, I'm gonna end with this. Don't introduce new things into the sick person's room. What I mean by that is bring clothes. Wash the clothes. Those bags that Walmart gives you or Publix or whatever, they're very nice. Um, you can use those to throw away garbage and stuff, but don't let anybody give you bags because you don't know what they're bringing in. I'm gonna tell you a story. I had to call an ambulance and they left products here. They left the sheet, they left the blanket, you know, they had put them in his bed. 
and I left it alone. Okay, this, they look nice, right? They're all white and everything. Uh-uh, wound up with bed bugs. And let me tell you, when you get those suckers and you don't know it, it's a whole nother problem. You gotta get rid of everything. You gotta sanitize everything. So if you learn nothing, learn this. Don't introduce new stuff from the outside world without checking it. All right, well, that's all the tips I can think of right now for uh, this little segment of it. So I'm gonna say bye. Ooh.